Every morning, a steady stream of cars drops off children at First Baptist Woodstock. None of the kids that we have here during the week are any of our kids that we normally have on Sunday morning. So this is a whole new group of kids that we're getting to minister to and their families. And what color did you paint your dinosaur? People like Jana Lukens, her husband is a construction worker, and Jana works at Northside Cherokee Hospital. It's taken a huge weight off my shoulders because um, you worry. You worry about your kids getting sick. What happens if you have to leave work abruptly? And here I don't have to worry. They text me updates. They send pictures occasionally of what's going on during the day. So it's just been phenomenal. Volunteers care for children from infants through elementary school. The church follows CDC guidelines. Each child and even parent has their temperature checked. There are no more than 10 children and teachers in a room. Senior pastor Jeremy Morton says he understands some might have concerns, but he says it's the right thing to do. Our mission starts here. Our mission begins at home. And if we don't love the people in our own community, how can we serve the world? And so this is a tangible, real way where we can show the love of Christ to people who, who need our support. Y'all ready? That support doesn't stop at child care. First Baptist has always taken care of the community through its care ministry. They call us for prayer, they call us for support. This means utilities, rent, groceries, food, transportation needs. Uh, we want to say yes anytime God gives us the means to do. But in the past four weeks, the church has given more than $125,000, what it would normally give in six months. 800 food boxes, one box feeding a family of four for a week. We're averaging about 40 to 50 boxes a day that is leaving the church, going out to the community. And we usually do that, and not in a day, but in several weeks throughout the normal year. Thank you so much. Through the power of God, we want to touch our neighbor in a way that is real and meaningful and, and wise.